she told me I needed to sit down and put my seatbelt on. Fine. She said, you need to get it. I said, do you know that? She said, is there going to be a problem? I said, no, there's not going to be. I didn't get aggressive for her. I didn't say anything. The young man that just said I got aggressive, he wasn't even there. He was all the way in the bed. I didn't do anything. Okay. I'm not, I wasn't here. I'm not saying you did, but I'm, when the captains made that request, I don't have, I don't have any overriding. How can the that? captain make a request for something that he didn't see? He didn't know? There's no also words. Like, all these people on the plane, I didn't do anything. No one did anything. Oh, you, do you oh. have your belongings? Do you just okay. them? We need to have to go. go. And we had we had witnesses. I just want this to be known that she has a newborn. You're putting her off the plane due to the negligence of one of and unprofessionalism of one of your staff members. She did absolutely nothing. No, yes, no, that's absolutely wrong. You weren't even here. Absolutely wrong. I didn't do anything. I don't have to do anything. Who are you talking No, they if we are treated unfairly, should we take this? We paid to be on this flight. No, you're going to knock my phone out my hand at the end of the day. She has, this is my, this is my seven month, seven week old daughter being mistreated. You weren't here. I was not here, but if you had any compassion or empathy or decency, no, it's completely done. Ain't no old, please. I have a seven week old. It's wrong. Yo, we, yo, it's all recorded. It is what it is. We have the people sitting in this area know exactly what happened. It's wrong. When? I have a seven weeks. She's seven weeks. And we asked, we asked her, all she asked her was can she move to let us out the aisle? That's it. It's a travesty. A newborn child. Excuse me. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Some, somebody who saw this or heard it, I hope y'all speak up. Because it's wrong. Everybody who's been around here who know that when this this fellow over here came to get up, he came to get up, and we were getting up out our seat to move. She said, can you move? We said, are we going to move? She said, can you give us space to get out? It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yup, yup. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You weren't here. And yet, yet you took you took you took the opinion of somebody else over somebody carrying a child, a baby. We're not fools, we're educated, masters, degrees, working hard. We don't come here for conflict. Let's go. A life story of peace. That's what it's about over here. It's you a teacher, a first grade teacher. You have the wrong impression of me, number well, one. Well, guess what? You gave me that impression. You earned that you impression. impression. You right earned now. it. You earned it. You, know you yeah. earned it. Get your stuff. Let's go. This is what's happening. Trust me. You will be hearing from us on the on the legal level. We all got we all got legal backing. Lawyers. Not dealing with no dummy. Makes no sense. I hope you sleep well tonight, brother. I hope you do. If you got this bag under here, is that yours too? We go and get it. I just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting. Are those your jacket? Everybody sitting in this section know exactly what happened. Are those any jackets? No. Everybody know exactly what happened. So as y'all continue your flight, I hope that's on your mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing. Thank you for speaking up, sir. Thank you for speaking up. She didn't even bump into her. She asked her because she moved so we could get out the seat. Then she told her, sit down, have a seat, put your seatbelt on. To a mother with a seven-week-old child. 
Tell her to sit down, have a seat. Buckle your seatbelt. It's ridiculous. Excuse me. Catherine, I want you to know you have a very impatient, unprofessional, and negligent staff. That's you right there. That's you. Now, see that? That's her. That's her right there. No, we don't have no choice. They put us on. Look at that. American Airlines. Look at that. Let's go, sir. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So you have to get up so that he can get in. And I said, exactly, right? And I said, okay. Like, no shit. I know. Like, thank you. So I'm getting up, and she's right here. Do you see how small these owls are? I'm getting up with the baby, and I said, she's literally right here. I said, can you move back some? So that that gentleman, so that he can get out, the out, and that gentleman can get in. She said, is there going to be a problem? And I said, no, who are you talking to? Like, no, it's not a problem. Was the yes. I said, no, there's not a problem. She says, okay, then he has to get in. And I said, okay. So hey, the gentleman get gets in. Get in. And then she goes, now you sit down and put your seatbelt on. And I said, I'm not a child. Who are you talking to? Like, I don't even know why you're even having a conversation with me. I said, I'm not a child. Who are you talking to? Extremely I'm, passive aggressive. I'm talking to you. And then she Extremely. storms off. And then the gentleman who already had an attitude with someone else, he then said to her, "That's a, they're, they're all a problem, that whole group up there. He didn't even know if we were all together. It's that whole group that up there. Whole he group said up that. There. We heard him say that. that. So it was aggressive from the beginning. Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't take much at all. It didn't at there all. There was no attempt to be professional. There was no attempt to, to be kind. Nothing. There was no attempt to make sure that she was settled with a seven-week-old child. Nothing. No patience. No tolerance. So then I and just I sat down. I didn't say anything else after that. I sat down, and then he went back and said, yeah, that whole group up there. And then that's when that the other guy with the longer hair, he came, and I'm sitting down, and this is exactly what he did. He said, is there a problem around here? And I looked at him up, and I'm sitting low. I looked at him, and, he, and then he goes like this. And he puts it, because he, he knew, like, that was his weird. And I said, no, there's not a problem. She asked me to get out of my seat to move, to, and I asked her, could she move back so that I can get out of the way with the baby and she said well she said that you were being aggressive and i said no i wasn't i wasn't being aggressive says well that's what she said and then the gentleman who had the editor said yes she was she was aggressive he wasn't even there no attempt he was always no in the attempt back. to unbiasedly see what was really going on no attempt to see if we can actually come to a to an agreement to move forward because we said nothing we sat there for a long time, and that was the time she took to run up there to the captain and make her what? Make her right. She did not attempt, not one time, to make any type of reparation to figure out. Okay, all right, I might have been wrong in that situation. There was none of that. There's none of that because she was wrong. She gave us no she space to get out. Wrong. She was impatient, wanted us to get out quick, and we had already started the process of unbuckling our seatbelts. And the gentleman prior. How fast do you want us to move with a seven-month-old baby? We were getting up. We are not those type of people. We do not get in those type of things the ever. Gentleman Pat, the gentleman who was in the back who who start who initially started all of this. He already was impatient because he was waiting for the other young lady to have a seat. Right. So he got he even got on. Her. He got she... on the the thing. He said, "We're trying to be on time for a flight, and we need to go." It was. It's just one o'clock. Our flight is at one o'clock. She was sitting. She she then sat down, got in her seat because the two other people. She was like, "Ow!" So the two other people then were already getting settled. It was not even a problem with me initially. He would had a problem with her. They fed off each other, and then I was just the last resort. And it's just not...